Hello there, Salty here, and I'm doing something completely different today. Um, well, s some guys uh, that posted um, uh, on my videos and also my friends, uh, uh, well, told me that I should, um, well, clarify some things and maybe add some commentary uh, to my videos. And I think the best idea I have is to use the tag view for that. Um, as you can see, uh, it's a basically it's a um, kind of a uh, application that um, helps you uh, see what's on, it's, uh, on the replay from, from with a bigger spectrum of things going on around. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, as you can see, the 109 here, uh, the K4, because this is DCS. Uh, uh, the K4 attacked me. Uh, f right after I was, uh, you know, finishing the attack on uh, Focke Wolf 190 Dora, so I turned into him. Yes, I know. Um, why do, do you even turn with a 109 and a P51? Well, as a matter of fact, the P51 that we have in game with uh, 67 uh, inches of uh, manifold pressure and 100, 130. Um, Octane fuel is the slowest airplane in the game, especially against the Focke Wolf 190 with MW50 and the uh, well 109K4 with the MW50. The gap is smaller at higher speeds. No, I mean higher altitudes, but nevertheless, uh, well, it is the slowest airplane. So I can't uh, run away. I can't even dive away because at some point he will catch me. And you can see here, we're looping around. Uh, he has additional advantage because the K4 right now, one, doesn't have any kind of a um, control stiffening at speeds. And secondly, it has over 30 meters per second climb rate sustained, which means that it's, it's a mind-boggling combination of, of features that it has right now. So... As you can see, I'm trying to make him um, make a bad move. I am not sure yet what to do with him. Uh, that is why I'm just trying to uh, go for this downward spiral, uh, gain some separation. I hoped that he will just lose me, because the notion of dog fighting against the K4 and the Mustang is a really um, not a pleasant idea. Uh, so yeah, and, I, and at this point, I thought I've lost him. This is it. Okay, I climbed up. Never was I more, more wrong. The guy was still on me, uh, in my um, blind spot, basically. And I saw him right there, and continued my turn, thinking what should I do next. But he was really um, getting closer and closer, because, um, you know, in turn performance, the 109 cannot turn the P-51, that's for sure. But at the level of fuel that I had, it was 35% uh, percent of fuel, and there was some time that I flew to the battlefield, uh, some patrolling and stuff, so I was actually lighter than usual, and taking tank in consideration, well, the P-51 can match the, uh, the 109 in turning, even at low speeds. So... He ha he got some shots on me. This is this was like a breaking point for me. I was trying to do something completely different and extend from him and um, get him into the scissors. And what I actually accomplished is that I turned harder than usual, and he went for a very long lag lag pursuit, and he overextended, which gave me the uh, the hole in his maneuvering that I could reverse into him. And go for a uh, head-on. Um, this uh, uh, was uh, a little bit lucky, I have to say, uh, but th that is all about. Uh, so I, I gained um, separation from him, and I again I thought I can lose him. I thought I can um, get so far that he will lose me, and maybe I can re-engage from a better position. But I was again wrong. He was still on me. As you can see, he's still turning into me, and right now he's um, going for a high yo-yo. Um, I see him all the time, it's not like I'm blind, so I'm trying to uh, get in 
front of him, make him cut my f flight path so he cannot get into a good firing uh, position. I'm trying to uh, get to some rolling scissors with him. And what we end up doing is uh, actually um, going into well rolling scissors within vertical uh, maneuvering uh, a little bit. And as you can see, we are pretty uh, close to each other. He's maybe gaining a little bit on me, but here he snaps. He loses a little bit of his um, um, uh, focus, and he rolls out of out of the turn, gave, giving me the um, uh, the the hole that I needed. So I went down here, dove a little bit. So I got some additional uh, speed, and now I'm press pressing him. I wasn't even trying to hit him, really. I did, and I did again. But I was really trying to stress him to um, lose it, uh, for him to lose focus, and I was all the time going for lag pursuit when diving, and then going for pure, uh, where he was really slow. So here I, I shoot at him deliberately. He stalls out, uh, and I get some hits on him. And right now uh, he's lower than I am on his um, energy, so I'm pulling lead all the time. And as you can see, I'm cutting corners here and actually hitting him. I know he's faster, so he can at one point just uh, get nervous and just pull away like he tried to do here. But I hit him into the coolant, so he just drops his canopy. There he goes, the, the, the square, and then the other square that is a pilot. So as you can see, it's uh, in DCS. It's not about really. Um, actually, in the P51, it's it's really about the matter of your luck and um, how your enemy handles his airplane, not as much as you handle your airplane. Well, that was fun. I don't know if I'm gonna continue with that, um, but this format is interesting. Well, see you next time. I hope.